Welcome to SNN. Today is Wednesday, October 30th, 2013. It's a sky day, which means star periods 1, 3, and 5. Don't adjust your TV or send a help desk ticket. You are seeing double me. Alex squared. What do you want to say about the day, Alex? Easy. It's twin day, and here in the SNN studio, we have the technology to help you see things in twos. Weird, because today is National Candy Corn Day, which is usually layered in threed. Enjoy this. Enjoy a handful of this sweet fall tree, and what perfect timing. National Candy Corn Day comes just a day before Halloween. This means that you can eat plenty of it right before you go out trick-or-treating. Here's the thing. Candy corn is enjoyed all year long. Place it in a candy dish any time of the year and watch it disappear by the handful. Studies have shown that by far the vast majority of candy corn is consumed during the fall months. Question? Which two holidays serve up the most candy corn? Call 78293 with your answer. Two holidays. How many? Two. <laughs> candy corn was invented in the 1880s by George Renninger and first manufactured by the Wonderler Candy Company. Candy corn consists primarily of corn syrup, honey, and sugar. There's lots of carbs, but it is fat free. Which brings me to our topic of Wellness Wednesday. It seems wrong to be talking about National Candy Corn Day. What about alternatives to candy corn? Those little layers of candy pa corn pack 3.7 calories a piece. A handful can cost you about 140 calories. That's 19 pieces. A mini box of raisins only has 42 calories. The raisins are clearly a better option. Chocolate covered raisins. Here's the evidence. 30 pieces of, can of chocolate covered can ra <laughs> raisins are only 170 calories. Oh wait, what were we talking about? It's hard to eat right, before ha right during Halloween. And tomorrow is Color Wars. It's Halloween after all. This is the way we roll around the ridge. Dress up in your grade's color. Black like a raven is 8th grade. Orange like Camp Half-Blood is 7th. And purple like Count Von Count for 6th grade. Then Friday is all about the fans. Sports teams, books, and movies. Wear what you're a fan of. And spirit continues. Which grade is leading? Find out now. For Crazy Hat and Hair Day, 6th grade won with 44% of their students dressing up. So congratulations, 6th grade. 7th grade, you had 37% in 2nd place. In 8th grade, you got 33%. 6th grade will be rewarded with 15 points. 7th will be rewarded with 10. And 8th will be rewarded with 5. So 8th grade, step up your game. 7th grade, you're almost there. 6th grade, stay on top. Come on, 8th graders, I expect more from you. Calling all able-minded Skyhawks. Can't be a zombie if you want to be a Science Olympian. Zombies are not allowed. Science Olympiad registration is now open. Please see Mr. Hunting in room 204 if you are interested, and he will give you a registration packet. First meeting will take place next Thursday, November 7th, after school. <laughs> Tomorrow is it. That's right, Alex. It's the 31st. Your VFW Patriots Pen essay is due, and you haven't even started. It goes to Miss Stanger in the main office. Hand it in, and good luck, everyone. Thanks to Miss Stanger for collecting them for us. Oh, by the way, all items in Lost and Found that are not claimed will be donated to Friday, on Friday to charity. You know what to do? Claim your stuff. First ever book meet is today. The topic is House of Hades. The date is, well, today. It's right after school in the LMC. It starts right at 2.50 and ends at 3.30. Soon, we'll announce the November... Actually, looking at the calendar, it might be an early December book meet. Just saying. Today's thought. Life is uncertain. Eat dessert first. Candy corn and raisinets, anyone? Mm -hmm. Have a great Wednesday and be sure to follow the Sky Code. Be safe, be respectful, and be responsible. This has been Alex. And Alex, at this time, please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin.